Australian dollar started the week under pressure, reaching a low of 73.11. That's its weakest point since June. But it recovered in subsequent sessions to spend most of the week trading around the 74 cent mark. The Aussie dollar struggled early under pressure from ongoing strength in the US dollar and as Asian currencies faced renewed turbulence. This week we saw multi-year lows for Asian currencies including the Philippine peso, the Chinese yuan and the Indian rupee. There was also a lot of pressure on the Malaysian ringgit. Much of the pressure on the Australian dollar and Asian currencies comes from the surge in US yields since the election. This is reminiscent of what no became known as the taper tantrum in the second quarter of 2013. Then Fed Chair Ben Bernanke warned markets that super easy monetary policy would have to be reduced at some point. This really upset markets which had been very calm and probably complacent and sparked a steep rise in US yields and steep falls in a range of currencies. In the second quarter of 2013, the Aussie dollar fell 12%. But there are reasons to expect that it won't fall nearly so dramatically this time. In particular, in 2013, we saw the Reserve Bank cutting interest rates, and we also saw very steep falls in commodity prices. At the moment, a Reserve Bank interest rate cut remains a fairly low prospect over the next few months. And commodity prices, while remaining extremely volatile at the moment, are still holding up well above levels from earlier in the year. In the week ahead, the Australian dollar will continue to focus on Asian currencies and US bond yields. Locally, the data highlight will be the third quarter capital expenditure or business investment numbers on Thursday. This series has been quite weak for some time as mining investment unwinds from the huge boom of a few years ago. The impact of the unwinding of the mining boom was evident again this week when we saw the third quarter construction data. The sharp weakness in engineering construction outweighed ongoing recovery in residential construction and also public infrastructure spending, which was a little bit disappointing. So that sets up the GDP report on the 7th of December for quite a weak reading. Some in the markets are looking for a number near zero. But at this stage, Westpac is a little more upbeat, looking for 0.4% on the quarter, admittedly with some downside risks. 0.4% would still give you 2.7% over the year, not such a bad outcome. All of this is likely to leave the Australian dollar reasonably well supported in terms of the domestic story, but still somewhat vulnerable to international factors. We look for the Aussie to trade roughly a 73 to 75 cent range in the week ahead with risks of a surprise tilted to the downside. We'll speak to you next week.